Welcome to the Edu Web Services channel. Be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscription button below so that you do not miss our weekly posts. If you are like me and can relate to sometimes having difficulties pronouncing strange words or sometimes not being quite sure about how to spell a particular word, then this video is for you. I am going to share with you a strategy that helps me to pronounce difficult words and spell multisyllabic words correctly. Now, let me tell you a little bit about syllabication. Syllabication is forming or dividing words into their sound parts. Apart from helping you to read or pronounce unknown words properly and to spell words correctly, syllabication will help you to improve your reading skills. Let's look at the example given. At first glance, the word environmental may prove difficult to pronounce. But if we were to break this word down into its unique sound parts, environmental, environmental, we would be better able to construct the correct sound of the word. Let's go it one more time. Environmental, environmental. Let's try to call it in one smooth flow. Environmental, environmental. Furthermore, if you were asked to spell the word environmental, equally, syllabication would help. That is, if you approached the spelling of the word sound part by sound part. N, vi, run, men, tal. N, e, n, vi, v, i, run, r, o, N men m e n t t a l environmental. Here is a tip to help you with syllabication. When calling words out loud, call them carefully and try paying attention to the changes in the shape of your mouth. You will notice that when sounding out each syllable. In a given word, your mouth will change its shape. This includes the movement of the lips, teeth, tongue, and roof of the mouth. This will help you to determine how many syllables or sound parts there are in a word. Look at the examples, banana, table, and car. Let's call each word carefully and pay attention to the changes in the shape of our mouth as we call each word aloud. Banana, banana, table, table, car, car. One more time, banana, banana, table, table, car, car. Did you notice that your mouth changed shape when pronouncing banana and table individually? But this was not the same for car. This is because car has one speech sound or one syllable. Some words have one syllable or sound part, while others have more than one. The word banana has three syllables or three sound parts. The word table has two syllables or two sound parts. Another tip is to try humming the word aloud. This will also help in identifying the sound parts of a word. Now let's try humming the words banana, table, and car. Banana, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. we had three hums, three syllables. Table, table, mm -mm. Mm -mm. two syllables 
are two sounds. Car, car, let's hum it. Mm, mm. One sound part, one syllable. It is important to note that each syllable must contain a vowel. As you will have observed in the word understand, this word has three syllables. Understand. One, two, three. Each containing a vowel. If we look carefully at each syllable, we would see at least one vowel in each syllable. In the first syllable, we see the vowel U. In the second syllable, we see the vowel E. And in the third syllable, we see the vowel A. Therefore, knowing your vowels and their sounds will prove useful when syllabicating. So be sure to check out this lesson if you haven't already. Now, let's say you are required to spell a few words you are not sure about. How do you go about it? Here is a quick demonstration to help you in such situations. Let's say you're required to spell each of the following words. Particularly, defibrillator, deteriorate, I'll call them once more. Particularly, defibrillator, deteriorate. The first thing to do is listen keenly to the pronunciation of each word and repeat it to yourself. Particularly, particularly, defibrillator, defibrillator, deteriorate, deteriorate. You may even try humming each word to determine the number of syllables it has. For example, in the word particularly, if we were to hum it, particularly, we can hear the syllables. Particularly, this word has one, two, three, Four, five syllables. Mm, 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 mm. Once you've identified the syllables in the word, then try calling each syllable aloud and writing them down, one syllable at a time. You will find spelling to be much easier this way. Particularly, par, p a r, tick. T I C U. This is the long vowel sound U. Lar L A R Li L Y. Particularly, by breaking the word down, we're successfully able to spell it. Do not forget that each syllable must contain a vowel. Consider the word defibrillator. This word has five syllables. The first syllable or sound part, D, is a combination of the consonant D or the letter D and the long vowel sound E. The second syllable com combines the consonant F and the short vowel sound for the letter I. The fibrillator. Each syllable in this word has a vowel. Whether that vowel is a part of the syllable or stands by itself as a syllable, as you can see in the word deteriorate. The letter O is standing by itself as a syllable. If when reading you encounter unfamiliar words, or multisyllabic words that are difficult to pronounce, then your approach should be to look at the word you are uncertain about quite carefully and take it in small pieces. Call it part by part, that is, the smaller parts that you are able to pronounce. And when you are finished going through each 
part of the word, then knit the parts back together and try calling them in one smooth flow. You should note that there are rules to follow when breaking words down into syllables. These rules will be covered in a subsequent lesson. So remember to subscribe to our channel to keep up with these lessons. Now let's examine some unfamiliar words in the examples provided and practice what we've just learned. The first sentence reads, inflation is growing. But here we encounter a highlighted word that seems a bit problematic. Inflation is growing. We're not quite certain what this word is. So let's see, look at it, observe it carefully and see if we can recognize parts that we can call. Exponentially. 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 The second sentence reads, it was an, and there is a word here. We're not quite sure what it is. It was an something display of her character. So let's attempt to break down this word part by part into small parts that we recognize and are able to call and then knit the parts back together. It was an ig, ig, no, ig, no, min. Ni us. Ignominious. Ignominious. It was an ignominious display of her character. The third sentence reads A rainbow is a natural th th phenom phenomenon. Phenomenon. So we've just broken each word down into smaller parts that we are able to call at our own pace. And once we've done that, we knit the parts together. A rainbow is a natural phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do not forget to subscribe for more educational videos and be sure to look out for fresh content every Monday and Friday. To challenge what you have learned today, there is a worksheet at the link in the video description below. So have fun completing the exercises and see you next time.